What's happening, guys? This is the Pimp Daily Dose for another weekend, July 17th and 18th, with me, Ashley. And me, Christina. This weekend, I'll bring you the new trailer for Pro Evo Soccer 2011. I'll flash you some tidbits from Driver San Francisco and Zelda Skyward Sword. And I'll follow those up with more from PlayStation Minis and Black Light Tango Down. A recent poll on our Facebook page showed that FIFA has the edge at the moment when it comes to fans. But by the looks of this trailer, Konami are having a fair crack at winning you back. It shows off some of the incredible new controls, including the power gauge, 360-degree passing, and the ability to link fans together. All in all, there are over 1,000 new animations, making this the deepest pro evil game ever. But it also looks damn complicated, so hopefully they'll strike a balance. Pro Evil Soccer is due out later this year for PC, Xbox 360, PS3, PS2, and Wii. A couple of days ago, Yana brought you a sneak peek of Driver San Francisco. Bad news, I'm afraid. It's being delayed until Q1 2011 to avoid clashes with GT5 and other big Christmas releases. So yes, it's the same deal with Ghost Recon Future Soldier. But Ubisoft fans have plenty to look forward to in any case, with Assassin's Creed, Brotherhood, Hawks 2 and Ruse still due out this year. There is also now a tentative release date for Zelda Skyward Sword, with series producer Eiji Aonuma saying they're aiming for early 2011. Don't forget, Skyward Sword will be the first Zelda game to feature one-to-one -one movement using Wii Motion Plus. PlayStation Minis have been a big success for Sony, with a collection of bite-sized PS3 and PSP games passing 1 million downloads this week. If you don't know what Minis are, check them out on the PSN. There are over 80 games to choose from. In the FPS world, online shooter Blacklight Tango Down is now available for PC from places like Steam. And even though it's only just been released, we'll get a sequel sometime next year. Zombie Studios have confirmed they're working on number two, which will feature larger maps and controllable mechs. Don't expect any DLC for number one though, they'll only be fixing bugs post-release. And that's your Pimp Daily Dose for July 17th and 18th. If you want to find out a little bit more about what the Pimp Girls get up to behind the scenes, join our Facebook page. There's a link to an interview we did recently with GamePro. And if it's exclusive Pimp Girl desktop backgrounds and photo shoots you want, hand over to www.pimp.tv. Our website is jam-packed with awesome stuff just waiting for you. Have a great weekend and we'll catch you Monday for some more Pimp in Action. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.